Hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and <laughs> welcome to Farm Sim 15. It's um, amazing, actually, what a complex pattern they've worked out for this butterfly to fly. Wow. He uh, does just the circle in the same direction, but he actually does it differently for three or four times in a row. Anyway, we are back. <laughs> we are back. Welcome to the channel. Oh my. Uh, Bjorn Home, Mining and Construction. That's the one. That's where we are. Alrighty. As you can see, we're uh, not exactly rolling thick in the cash once again. Yeah, blew all the money gambling. No, I'm kidding, actually. Did buy a couple of things. Bought ourselves a corn header for the harvester. Seemed reasonable since we have a field of corn ready to harvest. And I sold our old Amazon and bought this new one. Reason being, this one will use calc or fertilizer, our old one, sorry, fertilizer only, and uh, seeing as we spent all that money digging up that limestone and then ran it all the way out to the port and then picked it all up and ran it and dumped it in here, although uh, not freaking much of it by the looks of things, um, I figure we should probably use that and save our fertilizer money for other things. What else? Well, a lot of that money went to uh, keeping the mining process going. We do have some fields to uh, harvest as well, but... And I've also mowed the grass around that field, as you can see. However, we do need to pop down to the mine, because, man, we need some money. Some money. Alright, uh, yeah, you're close enough. First thing, we did, uh, we did fill this thing with some goodies the last time, and we were waiting for it to produce. As you can see, we have 84,900 liters, currently, of concrete. So, pretty nice. We also have, or had better have, some new concrete slabs. There we go, look at that. Oh, awesome. There's a little bit of money for us, 30k, 40k. And, I have filled this. Sorry about that guys, back with you. Had a bit of an interruption there. Uh, I thought this was running, but no, it just... Uh, once you actually put some cement into it, or concrete I should say, Although, oddly enough, it is a cement mixer. Uh, it starts spinning. And it spins whether the truck's running or not. And where you fill it up, of course, is right here. Oops. I almost outdid it. Right there. You just drive through here. She fits kind of nice. And boop, 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 boop. Fill it right up. It's already full. Doesn't hold very much. 12,000 liters. So, I kind of wonder what that's going to be worth to us, because I know that the uh, concrete slabs were just a delight. So, the same truck inside, it's your fairly typical man skin, and that's fine. There we go. Off to the construction yard to make us some money, because I do need one more little implemento here before we get too far. And that is, I need a windrower. Preferably something with a little bit of meat to it. Oh, that's not going to end well. So we'll just skip them. <laughs> yeah, we do need to pick up a windrower. I don't want to try and uh, use the forage wagon to get that stuff without having done the windrower first. The handle's pretty good, considering we're slinging that concrete thing behind us. That's alright. Means we make good time. And I do believe that I've only uh, ever seen the one tip point. I almost blew right by the whole unit here. And that's this one. So... Oops, can't see out the back window. <laughs> Ah, uh, kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, this is much better than the flat deck for being able to actually turn and pivot and do all of that. Oh, 
Alright, let's see what sort of money we get. 27.7, huh? And get the lucky. Dump her out, dude. There's one. Two. Well, 2,400 bucks, eh? Hmm. Well, that's certainly not, uh, not anything in the league of the, uh, the uh, big cement slabs, but then again, like I said, this thing only holds 1,200 liters, which is kind of uh, kind of pathetic, especially when it is our only choice at this point. So that other mod pack, um, I noticed they've changed it. The guy took the uh, cat loader that we're using. He took that out of the pack. I think I think though it has more to do with. Um, something about uh, maybe because it was a pack I think it was put together by someone for the map it wasn't like one mod guy did all the mods that are in it or the four that were in it and I guess maybe didn't uh, didn't maybe have proper permissions or something for the cap because uh, he's re-released the mod pack the trucks are exactly the same but the caps no longer included so there you go So three grand a pop, or 2,500 a pop, eh? Hmm, I need a little more money than that, I'm afraid. So, let's slide you back under here. I'm kind of disappointed. There we are. And it will auto-fill. Oh, right, I'm not going to be able to disconnect here because disconnect and dump are the same command, right? Ah, sip of me copy. Is getting kind of cold and icky. <laughs> My else is new. So I have now put just over one half million liter of gravel through our gold sifter, and we have sifted, to the best of my knowledge, exactly nothing. So that's going to continue to just carry on, is it? All right. Well. No, it's just the fine thing you do that. Cool. The other thing we want to get is uh, another of the trailers that comes with this Kyosho. Um, and that is a trailer. What the heck? <laughs> lost me train of thought. I keep expecting this thing to get all twisted on me. Oh, right, we have another trailer for this guy. Um, a low loader so that we can grab the excavator and haul that up to where the freestone is. And then we'll start uh, doing some serious gravel dredging in hopes. He says in hopes of uh, managing to actually dig up some gold at some point, you know. Uh, is there anybody up the hill? I don't think that there is. Because I suppose we could go and check. I did have the gold and the water filled before I advanced to... Uh, or the next day, that's why we have crops up again. I did plant the, uh, like I say, a small field of corn and then... Uh, the big field we did in canola and it's all sprayed and I have advanced time enough that it is all grown so we should be once again out of gravel in the uh, gold mine or gold mine, yeah right um, the gold refinery all that should be sitting in there at the moment there might be some water I did uh, recycle our last big thing of water that was sitting there so there may not be any recyclable water left but there should be water in the tank um, but I know for a fact we'll be out of gravel again because I did go through a 24-hour cycle and uh, yeah as I said I haven't checked but uh, before I dump the last truck full in I uh, know we had just over a half a million 
Oh, not quite, eh? 57.5. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, just over a half a million liters of gravel through this. And uh, I've received zero gold. There we go. Yeah, it was out. You can see it's just water. There we go. Yeah, a little bit. I have the concrete facility completely full. So we don't need to haul anything else down the hill. Let's see how our recycled water is doing. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Uh, recycle a little tiny bit. That's okay, there's lots of water. There we go. Ooh, tailings. Okay, look at this, 122,000. 30,176. What are we going to get for the tailings? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, stop before that. I was looking at the other numbers to see if it was still going down. Hmm. So, uh, $14. As you can see, we still have absolutely zero for gold. Yeah. <laughs> well, that all right, well, <laughs> let's go back down the hill, haul that one load of concrete over, and then maybe we can buy our wind roar. Like I said I also would like to buy an excavator, but I want the uh, low loader that fits behind our truck there, because from what I understand, not only are the excavators deathly slow, which they are in real life, so I didn't expect we'd be doing 60k up the hill, but uh, not only do they only do like 4 or 5k top speed, they have the tendency to sometimes not quite make it up that hill. And then you got to do things like try and drag it up with the bucket and yeah, 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 yeah. So, alright. So yeah, we're sitting at our cement thing is 90% full. Hey, dude, all right, you're completely full, so here's 30 grand we'll be adding to the, uh, adding to the mix. Now, as long as I stay on pavement, this thing handles reasonably well. Let's try and beat this guy through here. There we go. Yeah, as long as you stay on stuff that's the same plane, things are all right. And keep in mind, this is just the in-game truck. This isn't any uh, overpowered, modded, blah, 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 no siree. And this is what they give us. Uh-oh. Bad choice. Back in the go, man. Alright, now... Okay, there you see. She was starting to do it there because there's a little bit of an incline between those two surfaces. Right here again, no turning. Alright, now let's get ready to back up. Oop. And let's turn all the way. Oop. Okay. Uh, yeah, for some reason it seems to be working almost flawlessly this time. I must have parked in exactly the right place. Alrighty. Anyway, here we go. Let's double our money, shall we? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Alright, well, not quite. 23.6. That's pretty good. Now, let's have a look here. What we got for window is, I don't have any modded ones, so what's in here is what we're going to have a choice of. Wow. Uh, I don't really want that little tiny guy. So I think we'll be doing this one 12 and a half meters. Let's buy that. Okay. Back. And I'll just show you guys. <laughs> this is it here, this Flegel semi-trailer. 
Uh huh. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah, that's the one that we will. 24k for that. And then, of course, we have, uh, in the, what are they under? Front loaders, here we go. We've got either this guy, the cat excavator, for 198, or you got the big Volvo. Right, but either way, we would want to have, uh, have the loader to go along with them. Uh, turn, turn. Yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm going to return this guy to the mine. And, uh, hopefully there'll be enough there that he can grab another load. Let's just skip around most of this if we can. Yeah, I got no turning in either direction right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got a little bit. Yay, good timing. Ooh, we're stuck again. There we go. I don't believe it. I'm actually making something difficult look easier than it is. <laughs> Oh man, first time for everything on this program, I'll tell ya. There we are. And again, nice flat pavement she handles like a charm. And uh, no, we don't have enough to fill her a second time, but I will uh, leave her here. And let it do its thing. Okay. Let's take this guy around. Stick the uh, cement truck back under. Whoa, 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 dude. <laughs> I meant to do that. Yeah, I did. This thing really needs to hold more, man. There we go. Alrighty, well I think guys that that's probably going to uh, pretty much do her for this episode. It looks like, uh, yeah, that's not going to be anywhere near full. You see it's slowly growing the last piece. <laughs> we still got the big windowed one to go on this side. Oh, there, it's starting to grow that one too. But yeah, it'll take it a while to get all of that on. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button. Could really use it, it helps me out. And, uh, well, I suppose we should, uh, before we quit here, let's at least get our new bit of gear into the yard, shall we? There she is. Reset. Yes, please. Okay. Bye-bye. Boom. All right. There we go. All ready to go. A happy, happy, joy, joy, wind rowing. Uh, do I have a tractor? Do I have a tractor? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, look at all that beautiful canola. Second in splendor, only two. The beautiful corn. Not a lot of it. And of course, uh, corn on a normal harvest doesn't tend to net a whole bunch either. But, it will get us through. Next time around, sugar beets are going in that particular field because I want to buy the uh, sugar beater muncher cow food maker device. You guys know what I mean. Well, you must. I just told you it's the name of it. Isn't it? No? Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go, uh... Takes on the trillin' responsibility of windrowing my grass. Be big. Oh, okay. I could have maybe gone smaller. But I don't really like that little coon never been my favorite. Alright, here we go. Lower it down, crank her up, and go, baby, go. Alright, well, I'm gonna have some fun with this. If I don't break it on the pavement here, ow, ow. Should be able to lift just one side or something would help. So, alright, guys, as I said, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button. Feel free to share your favorite, do all that stuff. And uh, next time around, well, I really don't know. We do have a bunch of crops to bring in. We'll have more mining stuff to do. And, uh, well, beyond that, I really don't know. So, <laughs> take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 15 and the Jornholm Mining and Construction Economy Map. Ciao for now.
Very tight corner, make very tight corner. Oh, yuck, messed that up. 